Well, as BP tries to contain its environmental disaster, countries are meeting at UN climate talks in Germany to try to contain a wider environmental problem, global warming. And United Nations top climate official Eva de Boer is optimistic that a legally binding deal to reduce carbon emissions could be completed by next year. But some nations are already taking things into their own hands. From Lisbon, Tim Friend has more. It looks like the set of a big budget Hollywood science fiction film. Panels tilted skywards trying to make contact with aliens. In fact, this is the world's biggest solar energy park. Each of the 2,520 panels the size of a house. In the nearby town of Mura, in an impoverished region of eastern Portugal, the mayor is proud of his achievements. There are economic, social and environmental benefits. It has contributed to create employment. More than 100 people work at the solar park, at a solar panel factory and other activities which were developed from this project. Here, even the parking meters are powered by solar energy. It's the sunniest spot in Europe. But faced with an economic crisis, Will Portugal's push for renewable energy come under threat? Tourism is traditionally the big earner here. Then, a few years ago, it was decided that the sun, sea and wind offered more than just holidays. Huge wind farms were commissioned to power Portugal's towns. It expects to generate 31% of all its energy from clean sources by 2020. Its ambition? To top the European Renewables League. Like other countries in Europe, Portugal is suffering during the economic downturn. But its decision to concentrate on renewable energy is helping it to survive. Projects like this have created thousands of jobs across the country, sometimes replacing traditional industries that have failed. It's produced unexpected employment, like radar monitoring to temporarily halt the blades to make sure rare breeds of birds do not fly into them as they migrate to North Africa. Miguel Repas and his environment consultancy now export their expertise all over the world. We're also gathering a lot of knowledge on this subject. So but we're now having uh, a, a lot of research going on uh, radar ornithology, on bird movement, on migratory paths. So this is a lot of knowledge and scientific knowledge that's being collected. In Lisbon, the energy minister is fighting to make sure Portugal does not lose its green impetus as a result of the country's austerity measures. We can't put through the ideas of lower emissions and energy efficiency as a restriction, but as an opportunity to do things differently. And to do things differently employs a lot of people, attracts a lot of investment and is another business opportunity. The daily harnessing of Portugal's natural elements could give it the strength it needs to emerge from economic hardship. Tim Friend, Al Jazeera, Lisbon.